Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about 12.4, um, which is the composition of transformations, which that just means I'm doing more than one transformation. Okay. So I'm going to show you kind of both directions. So one is we're given an object and asked to perform multiple transformations. The other is we're given an object in its um, image and asked to determine what transformations led to that. And it's going to be more than one. All right. So let's start here. A, B, C. D, excuse me, quadrilateral. So I have A is at 3, negative 3, 1. B is at negative 1, 1. C is at negative 1, negative 1. And D is at negative 3, negative 1. All right, so we got this rectangle here. All right, and we are asked to first rotate this rectangle 180 degrees about the origin, then translate it along the vector one negative three. So when I like to do these, I like to give my coordinates and use the coordinate rules that we know, okay? So we have negative three, one, negative one, one, negative one, negative one, and negative three, negative one. So we know the coordinate rule for a rotation of 180 degrees, okay, is the X and Y stay in the same place, but become negative, okay? So negative, negative three just makes it positive three, negative one. So this is where A prime would be, okay? B prime, okay, again, X and Y become negative, so it just switches the sign. So it's now one, negative one, okay? Um, C, they both are negative, so they both become positive for C prime. And then D prime, both negative, so they become positive. Okay, so I'm going to graph the A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Um, and C doesn't look like 180 degree rotation. So we have three, negative one is now where our A prime is. B prime is at one, negative one. And C prime is at 1, 1. And D prime is at 3, 1. All right, so here is our image, kind of the halfway point. So it has turned completely upside down, which is a good indicator of 180 degrees. If I were to connect C and C prime, they form a 180 degree angle through 0, 0. So it looks good to me. Okay, but we have a second transformation I do. So now we're taking this guy and translating it along the vector one negative three. So now I'm going to continue on using this rule. Okay. All right. So another way you might see this is with two tick marks. That shows me that there is two transformations that led to being this one. Okay. So I have now a translation of one negative three. So that means I'm adding one to the X and subtracting three from the Y and I'm using these coordinates. Okay. So add one, subtract three, add one, subtract three, add one, subtract three, add one, subtract three. Okay, so now I'm going to graph those guys. So we have 4, negative 4 is where a double prime is. 2, negative 4. 2, negative 2. Oh, sorry, I'm not over far enough. and four negative two. All right, so this one is our image. So it went first rotate 180 degrees, then here, okay? If you guys don't graph this middle step, that's okay. What I'd like to see is your pre-image and your ultimate resulting image after all the transformations. And then this is just helpful for me to check are your coordinates correct? And I think it's helpful for you to apply the coordinate rules correctly before graphing. All right, now we're gonna go the opposite way. 
Okay, so it says determine a sequence of transformations. Anytime you see that, it means more than one, okay? So I need more than one transformation to turn this pre-image into this image. Now I will tell you, a lot of times you guys, there might be more than one sequence that you can use or the order of the, of the transformations might differ. What I'm gonna check when you are given a problem like this is does your transformations, do those different steps actually get me to hear exactly? And do give me enough detail. So for example, if it's a translation, I need the vector. If it's a rotation, I need the angle and the center of rotation. And if it's a reflection, I need the line of reflection. So I need the details to make sure it's accurate. So first thing that I like to look at is the orientation. So right now, this one is flipped upside down from this one, okay? No other turn seems necessary. It's just a flip or a reflection. So if I could reflect this one up, then that would get me facing the right way at least. So I'm gonna start with that. So I'm gonna put number one so that I know I'm doing this first. So I'm gonna say reflect over. So now I need the line. You can use any line you want. I like to use our axes when I can because I have nice coordinate rules for those. So I wanna flip it up. I'm gonna do over the X axis. So I need that part. That information is really report, important. Don't just put reflection, okay? All right, so if I do that, if I reflect over the x-axis, I'm actually gonna draw that in. So then I have t prime here, u prime is now at here, v, and notice this one says prime, you could put double prime, it doesn't really matter. We don't. They don't show us the in, intermittent one, which is why they just use one prime notation, but we're, I'm gonna add one in here, so let's see, four, and my T is not quite high enough. There we go. All right, so here's where it is after just reflecting it over the X axis. So it's not enough, right? I need something else now. It's facing exactly the right way, but it's not in the right position. So now I need to, to move right and up, which is gonna involve a translation. So next, we're going to translate. And again, do not just put translate or translation. I need the vector. And you can say along or by the vector, and then I'm gonna use vector notation. Okay, so I need to move right, so I need to know how much. So I'm just gonna look at my x here. So I need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the right, so positive seven. So I move seven to the right and up one, two, three. So positive three then for that, okay? And that's it. We determined those. It checks out. I could go through, if you wrote this, I could check first the reflection, then the translation and land exactly on top of this one. Um, I'm given the details. What's the line of reflection? What's the translation vector, okay? All right, guys, that is it for the examples on 12.4.